Hello again, everyone. My name's Jeff Ferris. Welcome to my shop. This is another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive, where today we're going to take a closer look at Woodpecker's new Auto Line Drill Guide. Before we get started, I'd like to ask you to hit the subscription button and the notification bell. That way you'll always know when we're coming out with a new video. All right, let's get started. Now, I've been woodworking since I was in my 20s. Uh, that's a little over 40 years now. And in all that time, I have always struggled with drilling a hole perpendicular. I'm usually a little too far past or a little too far short and getting it exactly straight up and down in both directions. I just always end up with a crooked hole that comes out where it's not supposed to be. So, to solve that problem years ago, I bought this. This is a port line drill guide. Uh, this one is classified as an antique now. Uh, I've had this since uh, uh, the late 70s. Uh, and it's a great tool. It was very popular for years, but the company went out of business a long time ago. Uh, but the idea is to take a portable drill and put a couple of rods on it so that it moves perpendicular. What we've done with the auto line is take that concept and expand on it in a few ways that really add to the design. The auto line uses a standard hex shank design, which wasn't around when the portal line came out, uh, that fits into any drill, whether it's a keyless chuck, a keyed chuck, or even one of these impact drivers, it just drops right on. Okay, so you don't have to permanently assign a drill to the tool. Next, let's take a look at the stop collar. So the collar adjusts up and down on this side, and that will limit the travel anywhere you want it. Now, John, are you getting a good shot here? of the taper that's in that column. What that does is when you lock on to that taper, now no matter how many times or how hard you bang into it, it can't move. So let's check up a drill bit. And one of the first things I want to show you is the V block in the base. The V block makes it very, very simple to drill round stock. So you can see when I drop that V-block in there, now my round stock is perfectly centered under the bit. Perfectly centered and straight through that dowel in a piece of hickory. So the next thing I want to show you is our fence system. Uh, that's something that the old portal line didn't have, uh, and it really makes a big difference in how functional this is. Our fence system is designed to be used on any side of the machine, uh, and it's really, really simple to change. The Allen screw that you need is in the column cap. You can just drop that right in there. That lets you spin that rod out. Now we can move it to this side, spin it back in. Get the other one. Now the fence is referencing from the side instead of the front. Now the fence works in four different ways. Uh, if I want to work very, very close to the bit, I can turn it around like this, and it will actually go underneath. And you can position the bit within a half inch of the edge. Then, if we want to get the maximum distance, we can turn it around like this, slide it on, and maxed out like that. So now, with that at the end, we can be seven and three quarter from the edge to the center of the bit. Even more if you just thread in an optional extra set of rods. 
Now, if you're out in the middle of a board and you can't use your fence, don't take it off, turn it over. And now it's gonna act as an additional support that's gonna act like an outrigger away from your bit. Talking about doing this in the middle of a board where you can't use the fence, let's take a look at these alignment marks that are inside that collar. Let's just say that we want our hole right there. So when we're working out in the middle of the board and we can't use the fence, we're gonna be relying on crosshairs to position. And you can see that we have laser engraved crosshairs inside there. Line those up with your witness marks and you can see that we are perfectly positioned for our hole. And then the final fence position is gonna be great when you are working away from your workbench. Okay, if I want to drill a hole into something like this, I would need to have a little bit of extra support. And what I'm gonna do is slide this on with the big flat side pointed down, position it for my dimension, and look how much support that's giving me for this horizontal board. So now let's take a look at another situation where we're not going to use the fence. And we also don't want our fence rods. So we're gonna take our built-in Allen key, remove our rods. Now, these two little pieces that you've been looking at and wondering what they're for, those are centering pins. We're gonna take those out of their storage position and we're gonna put them in the underside. All right, so we're gonna take a piece of stock, put it between the two pins, and then rotate it. And with a pin on either side of the board, you have it perfectly centered. Let's give this a real world test. I've got a piece of stock here that's exactly two and a quarter wide. So I've got my Pliny pocket rule set to an inch and an eighth, and we'll mark the center line. Yep, spot on. Now we'll take our drill, put one pin on each side that lines us up right on the center line. And you can see we went in right on the center and we came out right on the center. So the opening in the center of the auto line is gonna allow you to drill a hole up to one inch in diameter. If you need to go larger, it's very simple. We're just going to take off the column locking knobs, take the unit off, which is a real convenient time to change drill bits. I'm gonna take out our brad point and put in a Forstner bit. Now, while our standard position is like this, when we're doing large diameter bits, all we have to do is turn it around and put the drill bit on the outside of the stand. Now, with our outrigger in place to help us get it located, I'm gonna bring my Forstner bit down Locate it right on my center line, and we're ready to drill. Perfectly located, perfectly square. Hey folks, thanks for watching this deep dive. I hope you enjoyed this closer look at Woodpecker's new auto line drill guide perfectly perpendicular holes wherever you need them. If you enjoyed this and you're interested in one of these machines, if you look right down below in the description, there is a link that'll take you straight to the page on our website. Before you go though, 
Be sure and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll know about every one of our deep dives every week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Deep Dive.